Welcome to Altair Engineering. In this video, I am going to show how to install Hyperworks Student Edition version 11.0 on Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 8, 64 bit, and 32 bit operating system. So, let's start this video. After successfully applying for the license, and once your license gets approved, then you may have received this mail stating that your license has been approved and you can download uh, HyperOS Student Edition via this link. So either you can click on this link which will redirect you to Altair Secure website, enter your password, username and password and click on login. If you are not, uh, if you haven't received this mail, you can also go through this. Uh, click on the logout and close this. I will again open the Internet Explorer or say Google Chrome, and you can use this link. The https double dot semicolons secure.altair.com online store and click on login the same from where you have applied for the license enter the login id as i will enter my login id as and password So, the first thing you will see is your order number has been status is delivered. If it's pending, that means your license has not been generated. The status has to be delivered. Once you can see the status has been delivered, click on this student edition download. Click on this tab, student edition download. This will redirect you to a new page where you will find software download Altair Hyperox Student Edition documentation and licensing. So click on this Windows installer 32 bit. It will work for 62 bit or 64 bit also. So whether your machine is of 64 bit or 32 bit, the same setup will work perfectly without any issue. So it will start downloading the setup. If uh, you have this setup from the earlier or from some of your friend. Uh, the Hyperbox Student Edition setup. It's a different setup. As you can see, its size is 1.6 GB. It's uh, not the, this setup is not the commercial one setup uh, which you may have for Hyperbox 11 or 12. So it's a different setup for Hyperbox Student Edition. So either you have to install, uh, download this setup, or you can take uh, this setup from any of your friend or colleague which already have downloaded this. Then uh, I'll, I'll just close this as I don't want to. I don't want this setup, so I will just close this. So here it goes. You can see I have downloaded the Hyperworks 11.0 Student Edition underscore Win32 setup. The file size is 1.56 GB. Uh, means 1.6 GB approximately. So this setup you have to install it. It's a Again, I am repeating, it's a different setup from the uh, regular one. So, it's a student edition setup. If you ins uh, install the commercial one setup and uh, try to use the license of Hyperos student edition, it will not work. Okay. Then, once you uh, download the setup, then download the license file also. To download the license file, uh, under the licenses, you will find this link as Hyperworks Student Edition license and with the expiry date. So my license will get expired on 2014 month of 9th date 16. So I will click on it and you can see this it will download the license file. So I will again so you can see I have put this license file in this location so that my license file and setup will be at the same uh, Now double click on the setup file it will start the installer process if you are using Windows 7, 32 bit or 64 bit OS, it hardly matters. It will start with uh, automatically. As you can see, I will show you. 
If I right click on this, go to properties, you can see my machine is a 64-bit operating system. So as my machine is 64-bit operating system, but still I am installing the 32-bit, so it hardly matters whatsoever your uh, operating system is. It will work perfectly on it. If you are using Windows 8, then the process will change a little bit slightly. That also I am going to uh, discuss in this video. So it will start the processing. So as you can see, this is uh, still processing. So it will take some time to process this. The install anywhere. It will automatically install the setup. If you are using uh, Internet Explorer, it will uh, this file will show you the option to save it. So save this file. If you are using Google Chrome, it will directly download it. Same as the Mozilla Firefox, it will automatically download it. So you can see this. It has completed to 98%. Uh, so it will end this and uh, redirect, it will redirect it to a new window in the installer window of Hyperworks Student Edition. So this is the Hyperox Student Edition uh, new window. Select the language as English. Click OK. So this language uh, is the installation guide language. Check the box. Select the ID button of I accept the terms and condition of the license. Click Next. Again click Next. Keep the default browser uh, location uh, where it is showing that C program files 86 if you are using Windows 8. 764-bit OS, then it will install it program files x86. If you are using uh, Windows 7 or anything 32-bit OS, then it will create a program file. So make it as it is and click on next. Would you like to install the desktop shortcut? It's up to you. It's up to individual whether you want to create a desktop shortcut or not. So if you click yes, it will create a desktop shortcut. If you select no, it will not create a desktop shortcut. Then again click on next. So it will uh, contain all the product information, folder, uh, install folder, shortcut folder, test space required and available, everything it will show. Then click on next again and uh, it will redirect you to the installation guide. So it will start the installation as you can see. Uh, the, in, the process of the installation or the time uh, required to install the Hyperox Student Edition depends on your RAM and disk space availability. So it depends or it varies from system to system. Sometimes it takes a bit time or sometimes it may install a bit faster. So it entirely depends on the uh, system uh, hardware requirements. So if you have, you have adequate space like uh, 6 GB RAM or 8 GB RAM and the 500 GB hard disk, so it will it will go very bit, a bit fast. Otherwise, it will be a bit slow. But it doesn't matter. If you're taking time, uh, be patient. It will get installed. Uh, as you can see, it's still running, so it will take some time to complete the installation process. So now as you can see it has completed the installation and it is saying done. So click on done. So it will end the installation. Now copy the license file which you have downloaded. So right click on the license file say copy. Go to C programs 86 Altair 11.0. Security and paste the license file here. Just you need to paste the license file here. And then go to start all programs. Hyperworks student edition and click on Hyperworks. It will start the installer. It will
because you can see the Hyperworks, it will launch the Hyperworks student edition GUI. If it's showing some error, then you can check it with the CMD, type CMD, press IP, CON, FIG, backslash, all, and check the IP of license file. If you double click on the license file, open it a known pad, check this Ethernet ID. This Ethernet ID should match with the Ethernet adapter local area connection. So as you can see, if it's not matching, it will definitely going to put the error. So you can see it's 5C260A 42344C. So it is matching perfectly. That's why it, it didn't put any error. So you can select any user profile and the, the, this software has started working. Hyperworks Student Edition has started working on your machine. Again, if you just close it and now if you are using Windows 8, then either you can uh, right click on the setup file or the other way is you can see the properties of the extracted file. It's coming as 2.83 GB. So if you are using Windows 8, then just copy this and paste this in the same location that is my computer C program files 86 on your Windows 8 machine and then paste the license file in Altair 11 security. It will start working on it. To know the uh, icons, you can go to HM, Win, Win32, select the type and select this. HM OPE NLG. If you double click on it, it will open the icon of this. So in this way, So in this way you can open the Hyperworks. For Hyperworks student edition, you need to open, if you are using Windows 8 and if you copy pasted it, it will not come out, it may or may not come automatically on the program files. So to open it, go to Altair 11. HW that is Hyperworks bin win32 select the type scroll it down to the applications you will find this icon uh, applications yeah this HW you will find this icon just open this icon it will open the Hyperworks Hyperworks Student Edition. You can see. Okay. So this is Hyperview. If you click on this window, it will redirect you to Hyperworks. You can select the appropriate radio button for the user profile. Press OK. So in this way, you can install, uh, download and install the Hyperworks Student Edition setup and license. If you still have any queries, you can feel free uh, to contact us at edu-support at india.altair.com. Thank you very much. In this way, we are, I am ending this uh, video. Yeah. If you still find any queries, feel free to contact us on this.